How you doing? Oscar Blue right here for Border Network News. Thank you so much. Good evening to everybody. Hello to everyone in the United States of America and across the world. I'm Oscar Blue, independent broadcaster, reporter, and journalist from Tijuana, Mexico. Born and raised in Tijuana, Mexico. Thank you so much for joining me on this morning. So, I wanted to make, uh, make a little joke. I just went uh, to the store and bought three books. Uh, bought three books today. Uh, you know, I bought three books. Uh, one of them books I bought, I bought three of them. The first one is this one that says, uh, you're a badass, right there, eres un chingón. It says, how to create your greatness and be invincible in life. This, is, this one is a really good one. Has sold more than a million copies and it is written by Jen Sincero. The cost of this book, it was 268 pesos, 268 pesos. And the other one that I bought was on special What's on special, it is from fascism to populism that I think that is really important that uh, we know about fascism, how they're using this word right now, the activist liberals in all the world, how they're using fascism to be involved in populism. And it is really important because fascism is the new word that is implemented right now in society. You know, you're a fascist, you're a narcissist, you're a racist, you're a xenophobe. So it's really important to know why they're using this word and it has been existing for the longest of time. So how fascism to populism, this is another one. The cost of this was 339 pesos, but it wasn't special. It was 199 pesos. It was 199 pesos. And lastly, I have read this book two times already, but I will read it again. And I bought a new one. And it is The Communist Manifesto, right there. <laughs> the Communist Manifesto, written by Marx and Engels. Brand new, as you can see, is on a package right there, The Communist Manifesto. And the most, you know, it's uh, the most amazing thing for all you communist warriors is how much this piece of crap book, it is worth. Just for you guys to understand, I just gave you two books that I bought. That is from fascism to populism. And is you're a badass, you know the, that one. But this is really important. Really important that we use this, that we read this kind of books, people. We need to know how the enemy, enemy thinks. We need to know how the enemy is moving. And the enemy is moving towards this. The Communist Manifesto. Remember that it, to achieve communism, you got to go first to socialism. And there's 10 steps to socialism. The Communist Manifesto. And if you, if you could imagine, if you were, you know, right now that is communism and the socialistic ideas right now are the number one top notch ideas in the United States of America. And everybody wants communism and everybody wants socialism and everybody wants equality. So, you can imagine that this book must be extremely expensive, must be a book that it will be sold out at every store because everybody wants communism and everybody wants socialism in the United States of America. You cannot even imagine, you can imagine that everybody wants socialism and communism and everybody wants to read Marx and Engels. Everybody wants to do that. Every single one in the United States and around the world, they want to do this. And you can imagine you're like, oh my God, I want to buy the Communist Manifesto from the political communist party. I want to buy that because if I, if I will buy that, I will understand what the Communist Manifesto is about. But I think that it's really out of my reach, out of my expense. I think that it's really expensive, the Communist Manifesto. And I went over there, I saw the book again for the 15 million time that we bought when I was in junior high school, when I was in high school, and that we know how much this piece of crap book is worth, but it's really important to read every single thing again and again and again, which I could buy it and read it on the internet and I can, you know, even I, I cannot even, I, I, you know, I have the possibility not to not read it anymore. You can, somebody can read it to you, you can understand it, but you know, I wanted to just tell you guys how much this piece of crap book is worth. 
99 pesos. Right there. <laughs> 59 pesos. 59 pesos. Let's do the conversion of 59 pesos to dollars. So you put 59 59 divided by 19 that is the conversion of dollars and you have the the exact amount of this book that is the most important book of the world for all you communist socialists it is two dollars no it is because the dollars at three is the dollars at 19 right now the dollars at 19 right now so you get 59 divided by 19 it is a total of three dollars and ten cents this is the most expensive and most important book of all the communist manifesto three dollars and ten cents i am so excited <laughs> i read it in junior high i read it in high school also i read it in some in a couple of semesters in college this is so important i'm so excited to get it again and i'm so excited to read it and read it to the public of how this is the most important system of all three dollars 59 pesos oh my god so excited oh my god it's so ex so excited to come in as manifesto oh my god i'm so excited everybody so excited so for everybody that is watching, uh, we bought again for the, how many times? I think I bought this for like two, three times. I, I didn't know where I left the last one, uh, but let me open it. Let it. Let us open it right here. Let us open it. And it's really difficult to open it. Even to open the damn book is difficult. It's not, it, it, so the Communist Manifesto does not even work but it's difficult to open it, so it is really, <laughs> in no sense of the word, it is just a broken piece of crap system, man. Let me just, okay, right here. Uh, oh my God, oh, really difficult, really, look at this. Look at this, man, look at, ah, there we go, there we go. Thank you, Karl Marx and Engels. Thank you, Karl Marx and Engels, there we go. Ah, there we go, ah, 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 ah. Brand new, 59 pesos. I'm gonna preserve this right here, 59 pesos. Let me take the ticket because I want the ticket to everybody to understand that this is really important. So, ah, there, oh, there we go. So we took away the price right here, the price it is, and it's just where everybody say, oh, he put some, some other price tag. It says manifesto right there, manifesto del Partido Comunista, 59 pesos right there. So, this is 59 pesos of the political, taking away the package right here. You got dumbass Karl Marx and Engels right there on the back. The, the, you know, the two assassins to create this, you know, this, uh, this system that is political. So, I will put the 59 pesos on the face right now of Karl Marx right there. Let me just put the 59. This is how much you are worth, man. 59 pesos on the on the face of Karl Marx. I just wanted to do this. 59 pesos. This is how much your book is worth in our country of Mexico. 59 pesos. You're losing it. No, this is the way I am, really. 59 pesos this is how much you're worth so let us open page one right here page one page one it says Karl Marx and Engels Principios del Comunismo and it says right here in this masterpiece that is on clarity and brilliantness and genuinely the new conception of the world and the materialism has a consequence it is applicable also to the field of social life and the dialect of the doctor, di dictatorship, uh, it is more complete and profound of the development. The theory of the fight between social classes 
In the paper of the revolution, historically and universally, we deplore with the with the new communist system. It is the creator of the new society by the communist society. There you go, the first verse right there. It sounds so beautiful, huh? It sounds so nice. It sounds so perfect. It is just 59 pesos. For everybody that is watching, 59 pesos right there. Your book. The Communist Manifesto, the most important book. Uh, and uh, vamos Oscar El Blue, I support you, bro, from Canada. Hey, 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 all the way to Canada. How you doing, man? How you, you doing? All the way to Canada. The Communist Manifesto right there, 59 pesos. That's how much this piece of crap system, this thing right here is worth. 59 nine i will repeat it again in the face and i took the i took the price tag right here i took the oh no i ruined Karl marx's face oh no i did not oh no i did not i did not there you go Karl marx and angles right there in the back and i will put the price tag of 59 pesos 59 do you know what is funny <laughs> you know what is funny right now 59 capitalist pesos so i just bought with capitalism, I just bought your communism. <laughs> so you're actually selling a book. You're actually selling a book that is based on capitalist pesos and on capitalist dollars. And I just bought your book with some capitalist money. That is 59 pesos for every single one. 59 pesos. So uh, we will start. My God, man. This is throwback, man. I'm going back in time. Going back in time. Manifesto del Partido Comunista. Un fantasma recorre Europa. El fantasma del comunismo. Todas las fuerzas de la vieja Europa se han unido en Santa Cruzada para acosar a este fantasma. El Papa y el Zar Maternik y Guzú, los radicales franceses y los policentes alemanes. <laughs> ah, my God, man. This is a, this, it's because of this that the world is, because of this, because of these two, these two. And, and do you know that this guy, Karl Marx, met, you know, met, met Engels, Later on, you know, in in Germany, they met. And when they met, this guy lived out of the system when he was 31 years old. Engels, practically, this guy, Engels, practically maintained and sustained this guy and paid everything for this guy. Everything. Este era un mantenido, era un huevonazo was a lazy guy this guy Karl Marx one of the most laziest guys that you can understand he lived out of the government all his life Karl Marx lived out of the government all his life he never did anything never worked all his life and this guy Engels all his life paid his dues pay for his food pay for his electricity, pay for his water, pay for his clothing, pay for all everything that this guy needed. <laughs> That's what you deserve, man. You deserve, you're worth nothing, man. Karl Marx is worth nothing. 59 pesos, right there, 59, 59. How's everybody doing? <clears throat> I wanted to talk to you guys a little bit of that. I just went to the bookstore and bought three books. Uh, I bought this one that I think that this one is really, is really something. It had a special price. That's why, you know, it's, I, I bought it because it had a really special price. And it says, Del fascismo al populismo en la historia. From fascism to populism in history. And this is really important because it says right here, look what it says right here on the bottom. How do you describe a populist like Donald Trump 
in term and in, indifference to a fascist like Hugo Chavez. Look what it says right there on the on the bottom. This book is read as it was uh, written by Federico Finchelstein. So how this book is is practically for people to, to understand how these populist movements they're using fascism now. All these all these populists, all these fascists, they're using populism. How all these fascists, all these practically the dictators, how they're using populism. You know what I mean? How Hugo Chavez, that he's a fascist, how he used populism and how to use it. They say to the planet, this is the system. This is the equality. This is what is more important. The equality of growth, the equality between you and me, the equality between you and me always. <laughs> All right, guys. I wanted to jump in here and do a little, 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 it is in the book. The information is in the book. Right there on the book. It is in the book. In the book. You know? It's on the book. It's in the book. <laughs> I just, you know, this is... As I was walking... This is really... A, this is this is something that you can throw to the toilet, really. This is a book that you can actually throw to the toilet. But, you know, it is something that it needs to be always you know good to read these kind of books again and again and again uh but uh ultimately the price tells you about the how important this book is and it is 59 pesos 59 and that is almost three dollars almost three dollars capitalist <laughs> dollars <laughs> so if you're a communist activist and you're like oh yes man let's fight against the system man it's all anarchy man if anarchy still exists there will no there will be no peace if, if anarchy is not not respected so, hey, have you read the manifesto, man? Communist manifesto, have you ever read it? No, man, I have never read it. You consider yourself a communist? Yes, man, I'm a communist. 100 million percent in my blood, man. Would you like to go buy the book? Yes, absolutely, man. How much is it? Three dollars. Capitalist dollars? Yes, I got it. I will go with there and pay it. <laughs> Son una vergüenza. Una vil vergüenza. So, uh, I wanted to talk to you guys for a little bit. You know, God bless you guys. Uh, have a beautiful Sunday. Uh, you know, the info about Karl Marx being lazy. You can actually read it in history. Uh, you know, I will provide you a book. I will provide you the actual uh, factual information about what did Karl Marx did all his life. And all you guys are going to be amazed that what did Karl Marx did all his life, it is a resemblance of the activists in the United States of America. It is a copy paste of the typical average liberal John. It is the copy paste of the liberal Dorothy that they want to live out of the government. It is like the Alexandria Ocasio. It is exactly like that. We need to get help by the government. Everything needs to be provided for free. You don't need to work. You need to be free and be free. It is just exactly like that. You know, the most embarrassing thing is that Engels took care of this guy. The 59 peso Karl Marx guy took care of him since he met him and they lived out of the government. They lived out of the government. No, no. Este baboso, más que nada. Karl Marx lived out of the government. 
all his life. He did not do anything. Nada. No sabía ni cómo cambiar un tornillo, una tuerca. He didn't know how to just do some plumbing, you know. Use a hammer. He didn't know nothing. Living out of the government. That's it. God bless every single one of you. I wanted to drop by just to tell you how much this uh, trash book is worth. It's important to read our enemy. It is important to read our enemy because to be first, you got to be the best. So you got to read the enemy, man. Read the enemy. How they're thinking, how, remember how they think. So whenever an activist comes to you and talks to you about this, you know exactly their foundation and their, and their, their, number, one, their number one projection that they want. And ultimately, it's important to read fascism to populism. All these fascist dictators that they're using populism now. That is Andres Manuel Lopez Obrador, the Mexican president. All the Hugo Chavez, the past president of Venezuela. Nicolas Maduro, the, the president of Venezuela. Vladimir Putin, the president of Russia. Alexander Lukashenko, the president of Belarus. Trudeau, the president of Canada. Joe Biden, the president of the United States of America. What do you think many, what do you, why do you think so many Latinos are not speaking up against the ideology of communism? I believe that they are afraid. And I believe that they, that they know that it's never going to happen. But, you know, it's happening in a really, in a really capital country, country like the United States of America. That is the most amazing thing that is happening in the in the, the most capitalist that it was one of the most capitalist countries that exists in the planet now it's not the united states is the number six as the most capitalist countries that exist in the planet when barack obama delivered the country to donald trump the united states was a number 12 of the most capitalist countries in the world hong kong has remained the most capitalist countries in the world hong kong is number one even Taiwan is better right now than the United States of America as the most capitalist countries that exist in the world. It's amazing how the United States has dropped because they're centralizing their funds. They're not spending on the American, on the, on the American people. They're not spending on the country. They're spending on bills and passing bills to the world, delivering all their money to the world, the 900 billion bill, the 4 billion bill to Central America and money is spending over here, you're spending over there all over the place kind of like the 10 steps of socialism it's really important to know the 10 steps of socialism and centralization uh centralization of the of the, of, of the economy and they're centralizing your funds it's not growing it's amazing what they're doing to the united states of america it's the number six right now when it was delivered to trump it cranked up to number one and number two COVID hit dropped to number six and right now it's a number six still but joe biden is saying that he's creating jobs and he's creating a better economy he's creating all of this and when you see how much the economy has grown and is still the economy is not growing you will understand that whatever joe biden is saying is a lie because still is a number six he has not grown he has not he, he, he says that he's building more jobs, but he's opened up businesses. That's not creating jobs. The jobs were already there. 